I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Thursday October the 18th where we really have a nation divided right now uh, not necessarily due to political things or ideas and well we may have that too who knows but uh, basically it's because of the weather uh, the northern plains has enjoyed great weather all this week and the southern plains especially down in Texas but uh, throughout Oklahoma the meat of Oklahoma uh, up into southern Kansas and places just wet miserable cool not cold yet but it seems cold because it's so early in the year but uh, miserable conditions especially to try to straighten up uh, uh, new arrivals of calves and, uh, and that's been a, made a big disparage of the market conditions uh, uh, one of my favorite quotes of the week so far come from Mark Service is the owner and manager of St. Joseph Stockyards in St. Joe, Missouri he told me, he said, the only guys you can send calves to are guys that don't have any of them yet. And uh, that is so true. Uh, he said it, but a lot of the other guys were thinking the same thing. Guys that have gotten their first uh, arrivals or shipments of calves, uh, whoa, 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 that's enough. Uh, you know, we don't need any more. But uh, guys that haven't got any yet, uh, they, they think, oh, yeah, this ain't too big a deal. It's still early in the year. Bring them on. But... Uh, I tell you what, there's, there's a big difference between what these balling calves will bring and what the last of the true yearling calves or the, or the old last year's fall calves, uh, their short yearlings will bring a big disparage in that. And uh, in fact, uh, I was talking to him there at uh, St. Joe Stockyards and, and uh, he says, you know, those seven weight yearling steers will sure outsell, you know, the, the five and six weight steers. and and I asked him if that was true and he said heck I put a load of, of four weights together and they didn't cost as much as my seven weight yearlings but uh, that, that goes to show you uh, the difference between having to straighten these cattle out it also goes to show you uh, if you look down the line on live cattle futures the big drop off that we always see between April live cattle and June uh, which is right now a $7.30 drop from there as we get into to uh, down the line which a lot of these ball and calves will hit uh, fat um, late next summer or into the middle of next summer and we'll lose out on that April board but uh, these good yearlings these good green good doing yearlings have got a lot of go to them uh, they got plenty of time to make that April board and that's why the market's so good on them right now but let's look at your CME cattle futures for Wednesday October live cattle up 27 cents to end the day at 112.92 December down 40 cents at 117.37. October feeder cattle up a nickel at 154.07. And November down 87 cents at 153.35. Look at your fat cattle trade. Through Tuesday, we'd sold 18,500 head, which is a pretty good clip for, for Monday, Tuesday, which the Monday didn't have hardly anything. But had a few sales uh, on Monday and Tuesday that were live about 800 head at 109 we don't like the sound of that very good but uh, just just some early stuff and it's really hard telling what the deal on those cattle were might have been a hard to reach out of the way place might have been some uh, some cattle cattle that don't have a uh, uh, much record on them on how they'll perform and it may be some some off breed off type cattle lower grade and type cattle we never know but uh, on your dress trade Monday and Tuesday, it ranged all the way from 170 to 175. Uh, mostly 174 though, and that would be steady with last week. Now on Wednesday, we had probably more trade than we had Monday and Tuesday both, and did have quite a bit of live sales, of course, all in the Northern Plains from 108 up to 110 and quite a bit of 110, and that's getting close to steady. Uh, and then your Iowa dress trade was all at 174 and that would be completely steady now in Nebraska had some live sales from 109 to 111 so that would be back steady with what we've been for the past five or six weeks uh, but a lot of 110 there too and of course it's early trade and not established yet but also dress trade in Nebraska at 174 uh, we did hear that Southern Plains uh, Packer buyers would call in at uh, as high as 110 uh, on Wednesday so it looks like we're probably going to be destined for a once again 111 be your your whole number on a live basis be the established price and and uh, can't seem to break out of this steady mode and it really feels like a steady week to everybody because 
I mean, weak W E A K, uh, because it just, uh, we ought to be breaking out of this and getting moving on up. But a lot of this weather and, and uh, a lot of these calves moving uh, and a lot of uh, these feedlots are full, especially in the northern plains. These, uh, these farmer feeder lots, they're wanting to get some of these good calves, some that they bought in the past. Uh, while they're on offer right now but they need to move some fats out the other end of their small lots and they need the pen space so some of them would rather just go ahead and puke their cattle at a dollar ten or in the low 170s just to uh, to get them on out and then kind of clean the pens a little bit and maybe bring some of the, their favorite calf purchases in also you got your farmer feeders in the northern plains still trying to finish up uh, harvest so they're they're busy and and they're not really wanting to haggle spend a lot of time haggling uh, on their fat cattle sales they want to get ahead and, and keep uh, keep moving on with all the different things they have to do at the end of last week our corn harvest was 39 cent percent complete which was well ahead of last month last year in the five-year average uh, the, the for the most of your your uh, corn belt up there they've had good weather good sunny uh, mid 50s uh, type clear weather so uh, they will they will have done a big clip by the by the end of this week with today's equipment and and then we'll be on the downhill side but uh, you look at uh, your feeder cattle markets real-time index on cattle market central late in the day on Wednesday sitting at 15417 up a dollar 78 pretty significant we saw some yearlings in some sales on Wednesday uh, especially in uh, uh, the middle part of your plains up up into the northern part and that really picked the market up and and uh, not just holding their own on these prices they've been getting here the last of these true yearlings that the price has really gone up on them because these buyers are so sick of the calves already they may still want some cattle but uh, they want something that's tough enough they don't have to fool with because they got enough of them already in the hospital pens that they're trying to fool with in this damp uh, early uh, season cool weather and mud. But uh, OKC West, uh, light run. I tell you what, uh, it's just been so rainy and muddy and wet around that uh, just it's hard for guys to get their cattle out. And of course, they're not as used to doing it and not as well equipped to handle weather as the guys in the Northern Plains while they're basking in the sunshine and the in the drying out conditions from the moisture they had here a couple of weeks ago. But, uh, and El Reno had 3,900 head of cattle, uh, about 2,700 yearlings, which is a light yearling run, and the calf run was, was very light for this time of year. But feeders on Wednesday had enough to test, and they sold three to five dollars higher, and they've been selling good right along. So that's in addition to the good market they've had here uh, for the all fall, pretty much. Calves were mostly steady on a real light run on Tuesday. Uh, Dodge City, Kansas at Winter Livestock, they had a calf special on Wednesday, 3,600 head. Uh, did have some yearlings included, but mostly calves. The yearlings were, were quoted to be higher where they were tested. And uh, the, it, it was hard to compare the, the calves because when they have the yearling special, they get the bigger bunches of calves. The higher quality, uh, the more reputation kind of calf uh, offerings, and uh, really hard to compare those with a hodgepodge calf offering that they might have had on a regular sale the previous week. But a good market noted all the way around at Winter Livestock. Uh, you look at uh, Torrington, they had a good sale, 2,200 head in, in Torrington, Wyoming there, under 600 pounds. They quoted the calves as much as 5 to $10 higher. But there again, they're up north far enough where they haven't been uh, bogged down in so much mud. They've had some nice clear conditions and, uh, and a fairly decent temperature uh, uh, for the fall, for the middle of the fall. Their heavier calves were steady to a buck higher and yearlings there two to five dollars higher where they saw them. Bassett, Nebraska had a big sale. 4,350 head of cattle at Bassett and uh, it was unevenly steady to six dollars lower. But you think about the market that they had a week ago, and I, and I quoted that uh, pretty strongly if you noticed uh, that last week. Bassett always has strong sales, but when they get those prices that high, you know, a, a dollar figure is not that much <laughs> when you've got those prices inflated that much. But uh, you look at an individual quote out of Bassett on Cattle Market Central, 
169 head of big yearling steers weighing 955 pounds bring 156.75. Faith, South Dakota. Again, only place you'll see their market report uh, quoted is Cattle Market Central. They do not have a regular market reporter there. They had over 9,000 head this Monday, over 6,000 head on Wednesday. You think those uh, guys in the back aren't working their butts off uh, and the local truckers aren't working uh, to get those cattle in there? But just amazing the kind of runs they get. But they're so seasonal, they've got to really make hay while the sun's shining. And also they're having the good weather up there in face South Dakota. Look at uh, the Cattle Market Central Market Report there. Notice just, just calves in the offering. But uh, 1,873 head of steer calves in the five weight category. Average 559 at 179.87. On the heifer five weights, 1,174 head of those. Weighed 548 on the average, $164. And your bigger six weight steer calves, a little over 1,000 head of those weighed 647 on the average at 171 and a quarter. Now it always tickles me, you guys know that I'm biased. I spent so many years working in and around and doing business at the St. Joe Stockyards in St. Joe, Missouri. And it tickles me whenever I can talk about them and they warrant it, but they sure did on this Wednesday because I had the, the highest cattle in, in the United States. And, and by that, I mean the highest cattle in the world. Uh, of course, the, they were the kind of cattle that'll bring that, but I want to quote them for sure and make sure you guys know it. Uh, you know, they still run an old stockyard kind of mentality there at St. Joe. That's the way they've done it for over 130 years and it's, it's worked pretty good. And as a friend of mine used to say, the wagon tracks run pretty deep in the St. Joe stockyards and that's for sure. So why mess it up? But a good friend of mine, commission man, Larry Schrick uh, from over there in Northeast Kansas. And Larry Schrick is one of my favorite people in the world. He is uh, one of the most fun guys to be around. You never want to be around. Uh, he's getting up there in age a little bit. Uh, and, and I do want to mention his girlfriend. He's got one of the sweetest women uh, that he's recently found later in life. And they're having a lot of fun together. But do not get into a politic conversation with her because uh, if you guys are like me, and I think over 90% of you probably are, you won't enjoy it. But uh, Larry Strick had a good customer in there, some people he's worked with and done business for for a long time, the Connetters over there, and they are near Lawrence, Kansas, and, and some kind of high rent grass over there, but, uh, but that's their grass, they've had it for a long time. But, he buys them calves and sends them to them and they keep them green and I do mean green. Thin, green, all black qualities there but compensatory gain to boot and just everything but sure enough hardcore true yearling cattle. 116 head of them in St. Joe on Wednesday weighed 765 pounds at 176.75. That's your feeder flash for Thursday.